In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Lord, I thank you. I adore you and magnify you for yet another day in your presence. I thank you for who you are, for there is none like unto you. I bless your name for the gifts of life today. Thank you for your beloved as they wake up in this moment to be on the prayer altar, to give you glory, to appreciate you, to exalt your name, and to bring a petition before you. Lord, we say may all glory, honor, power, majesty be ascribed unto your name for who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. We are alive today is a privilege. It's not our right. It is God that has made it possible. I'm telling you right this moment that we are up to pray, to give God the glory. Someone has fallen down. Some families are wailing. So many things are happening right now, but to the glory of God, we don't know why he loves us this much, but he loves us, yes, because we have saved yet another day. In the name of the Lord, be exalted above all else in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Liberation Prayer Altar. An altar I'll keep telling us is the place where decisions are made, decisions are taken, matters are settled, whether good or bad. But thank God again and again that we are on the prayer altar of God. And I believe God, and this month of divine fulfillment and rest, God will fulfill our heart desires, and give us rest on all sides to his glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And quotes me, not the rest of death, but rest from every abnormal toils, rest from stagnation, rest from sorrow, rest from pain, rest from sickness, rest from wars, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we'll be praying or talking on the, on the, on the theme I tag against all odds amen against all odds amen against all odds praise the lord i will take some scriptures romans 4 verse 18 genesis 17 verse 3 verse 5 and verse 13 and 17 genesis 18 10 and 11 genesis 21 to jeremiah 29 verse 10 to 14 Proverbs chapter 16 verse 19, Judges chapter 6 verse 33 and chapter 7 verse 25. These are the scriptures we'll be walking with. The name of the Lord be exalted above all else. Amen. Le paradado jan de lede. E pratosia kalia katia katata and le kodos. E kedege dege 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 dege. Le kolobo shagada gada gada. We take authority over every power. Whatever will bring negativity in this atmosphere, we cancel it by the power in the name of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus to take authority. Le kotosia katia katala badada. Thank you, omnipotent. Thank you, my Father. Oh, sweet. Holy Spirit, I call you my spiritual director. Thank you for your ready here to bless someone. Thank you for your ready here to direct us. Not me, but you, not my voice, but your voice, sweet Holy Spirit, not my person, but your person. And let your fire rain in this place. That at the end of the day, someone will have a testimony that I was there, I was there, I was there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen theme against all odds glory be to god beloved of christ have you ever reached in a point in your life where you feel all your hopes is lost and time is no more on your side to achieve what you wanted to achieve for example you were believing god for a child and the years the month months turn to years and he's going and going and going and believe you me according to the man setting you are getting to your menopause and you know there is no hope anymore the odds against you is is so so high the probability that you conceive and have a child is so is is, is so minute that everyone the doctors have risen off you are the age of 48 50 and if if something happens sometimes people get so they're menopause by 40 and, and, and thereabout. And all hope, all hope, beloved of Christ, is lost. The odds is, is against you completely. That having a child at that moment is quite impossible. If not impossible, it's one over 100. Have you gotten to that situation? That it's possible for you to conceive that the odds against you at that point to ever bear a child, or is it waiting upon god for marriage yes ah 
Le parado shakata lagada. Oh, this one is supposed to be married, and the years are going. People are beginning to count. The years are going. The years are going. Nothing seems to be happening. My goodness, nothing seems to be happening. No, 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 no spouse is coming. Nothing is really happening. And you say, wow, the odds at that age is too over. Except God is by your side. Of course, God is always by our side. Then nothing can happen. You get to that point that odds, all odds, odds against you. The probability of these things happening in your life is zero. You have toiled all your life. You have toiled all your life and nothing seems to be happening in your life. And you are at the age of, wow, is it not I'm going to toil and something is going to happen? What is really happening in my life? Nothing is happening. When will I make it in my life at this age when I'm, my knees are getting weak? I can't talk the way I used to. That is odds against you. Praise the Lord. But don't forget this. That in the Bible, the Matthew 11, 20 said, 10, 20 said that at all times, what seems impossible with man is quite possible with God. With God, nothing is impossible. You are the age, you are 11, you are, you, are, you, are, you are the age of menopause. Who tells you that you cannot have a child? The menopause is the language of man. When God says he wants to do something, nobody can stop him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nobody can stop him. Believe God that will come to your aid against all odds. What is odds? Odds are the possibility that an event or something may never happen. And then we take the story, praise the Lord, of Sarah. The story of Sarah. Who believed that Sarah was going to have a child anymore? No one. Sarah looked at herself when the Lord gave a promise and said, Ah, you are going to have a child. And Sarah laughed. He told her, the Lord told Abraham, your wife, Sarah, is going to be Sarah. <laughs> and when it was, she was asked, well, he said, no, I am not laughing, my Lord. I am not laughing. I am not laughing. Because he had looked at himself. Abraham, being a man, was able to contain the news. But I'm sure in his mind was like, this is serious. He said it's some kind of, some kind of a joke. <laughs> oh, shalada ba da da ba da 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 da. Is this some kind of a joke? I like it, like it, like it. Is this some kind of a joke? He looked at himself. How will he even start? I mean, the urge for sex has died completely. Imagine 100 years. A man at that age. Wow. Wow, wow. We have a very big God who is always by our side. A very big God who by our side, by our side. Abraham and Sarah are stricken in age when God promised that Sarah will conceive. Ah, Sarah laughed. Because all odds concerning woman nature was against her and the husband. Genesis 21 verse 2. What could happen? Nothing. If you go to Genesis chapter 17, 5 and 13, you go to Genesis 18, chapter 10 and 11, you understand what I mean. All odds was against them. But the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 18 said, against all hopes, against all odds, Abraham hoped, believed so much in God and became the father of many nations as the Lord has promised him. Don't forget this promise was like 25 years ago. He was still believing. He was still expecting God. He feel that God will fulfill that promises and he waited. Beloved, he waited. And like, like, I don't know what you are waiting God for. I don't know what has you have waited, you've stayed all over the, for years believing God. Some of our loving sisters that have been believing God for marriage, and nothing seems to happen. Nothing seems to happen. 35, 40. Who says that God cannot perform a miracle? 
Yes, all odds is against you to marry. All odds are against you to to conceive. All odds are against you to make 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 good in your life. Make it in your life. All odds are completely against you. But is it against God? God does not have season. He does not have time. He works when he will work. And whatever your season is, when God decides this is the moment, beloved of Christ, no one can stop him. And that is the God we serve. It's not the story of Joseph. Joseph ah, was sold into slavery. From one thing to the other, Joseph landed in the prison for nothing's sake. But he believed God. The odds against Joseph was too small. The probability that Joseph would be removed from that prison was very minute. But in that strange land, Joseph ended up being the prime minister of Egypt. Second to none but Pharaoh. What is that situation that you think is over? All odds are against you. This is not going to be. The love of Christ, I tell you, it does not matter what the enemy says. It does not matter the situation you are. The love of Christ. God will do it. Are you believing God for conception? And they say the time, complications, the time is over. That is what the man says, not God. God says, when it is my time, I work against all odds. I will bless you. 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 Against all odds, when it looks so hopeless, Abraham believed God's promise that he will have a child. I still go back. There is an amazing story that it seems not to happen. Ah! You talk about the woman with the issue of blood. She has spent, the Bible says, she has spent everything. She has spent everything. Rather than have solution to her problem, the problem increased. The odds against her for the blood to cease, the flow of blood to cease, was maybe one over a hundred. Or even Zori, because she has spent everything she had, she had sold. But she believed when she heard that a man, a prophet is passing this way. Oh, beloved of Christ. She said, if only I can touch the hem of his garments. All odds were against her. There was not going to be healing anymore. Nothing good was going to come. She was going to bleed and at the end of the day, die. Because all the doctors in the world that she had met proved abortive. Nothing was happening. la ba da ba da da ba da but just one touch just one touch and i believe god in this month of divine fulfillment and rest that touch somebody will have 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 that touch in the mighty name of jesus christ amen against all odds when it looks as if the israelites will remain in captivity in babylon god Ah, God showed up for them. Ah, God showed up for them. Maleketele barada. God showed up for them. They have lamented. Yes, we know our stubbornness brought us to this place. But are we going to die in captivity? And they cried, Oh Lord, where are you? Where is your promise? You say, when we err, and return back to you that you will help us. Lord, where is your promise to us? 
Reta Jeremiah 29 verse 10 Lekato zekedede Rebadabadabo shadabada Lekedebadabo shakatata This is what the Lord says When 70 years Are completed For Babylon I will come to you And fulfill my good promise To bring you back to this place The place that is flowing with milk And honey Glory be to God Oh, le parababa. Le kata. Verse 11 said, For I know the plans I have. This is what he told them. They were crying. And if you go to the story, you find that it was only the past 70 years that they were there and they cried, Lord, this is what you said. Against all of they have thought, they believe that nothing good, they will not, they will live and die in captivity. They will never see their land again. Their children will be will be slaves forever. But God, our God, showed up to them at the moment where they never believed. And the Lord said to them when they cried, said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And that is what he's telling somebody today. Reketa keta keta keta. Lepo shadada. Plans to prosper. Plans to prosper. Plans to prosper and not harm you. Amen. Plans to give you hope and a future. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. At the end of the day, they came out of captivity. They came out of captivity, beloved of Christ. And the chosen people, you are a, tell yourself, I am a chosen person. I am a chosen person. I don't know what captivity you are under. I don't know any spell that is working against you from your father's altar, from your mother's altar, from your marital home altar, from the location you are. Or is it a, a covenant that you have made unknowingly, unknowingly before you knew God? And that has held you captive. The love of Christ. And the odds is that you will never be free of this captivity. The odds are that you will never be free of that captivity. The love of Christ. I tell you today, we have a God that works against all odds. He will remove you from that captivity. As you stay on him, as you believe in him, the Lord, the Lord, our God will pull you out of that captivity. He will believe it, shout amen. What is it that you desire of the Lord? Are you believing God for the fruit of the womb? Are you believing God for, for marriage? Are you believing God for open doors in your business? I think it seems that like all odds are against you. The love of Christ, hear ye me. Not my voice, but the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you. He said, I am the God that walk against on us. Uh, he said, is there anything too difficult for me? Whatever is difficult with man, with me it is quite possible. Uh, whatever is impossible with man, with me it is possible. Uh, like, 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 uh, what man cannot do, what doctor says is over. Uh, with me, I am the great physician. Uh, like, 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 uh, like, uh, believe him. Against all odds. Ah! Against all odds, I've got my own story. Against all odds, the Lord show up for me. My God will show up for you. I don't know what your heart desire is. My God will show up for you. As you stay on this prayer altar, my God will show up for you. As you link up to this prayer altar, my God will show up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. This is Liberation Prayer Altar. Believe God that your matter will be settled on this prayer altar. This is where the divinity would meet humanity. Our God is already here. The Holy Spirit is working for our good. And our, our prayers right now are being taken to the throne of glory, to the throne of grace. And our answer in this month, our like ta 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 ta
glory to God. Uh, that will give testimony to, to God. Uh, he will fulfill that heart desire. Uh, no matter the odds are against you, that this thing is not going to be. My God will do it. My God will do it. Shako siya katana bada baba. Leke de de no de de. Josie chapter 6 verse 33. It does not matter the wars. It does not matter the wars. The story is that there's so many countries, so many nations, woke up, came together to fight Gideon. The odds for him to win that war was so much against him. Ah! Le parado shaka da bada da. Leke de 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 the odds were so much against him. Oh, Ziakalabara. Enemies have surrounded you. From the left, from the right, from the front, from the center, everywhere is our enemies. Nobody wishes you good. You go to this way is war. You turn this way is war. In the ministry is war. Elected in your marriage is war. In your family is war. In your location is war. It doesn't. And the odds. Against you is that nothing. You can't, you can't, how many will you fight? But believe the God that works against all us. That is the God I serve. And that is the God that is speaking to you this moment. He said, irrespective of the enemies around you, irrespective of those warring against you, I don't know how many people are fighting against you in your family, in your place of work, in your place of business, in your ministry. The wars have risen against you. Don't forget the word of my God. He says, Lake man. When the enemy shall come like a flood, my spirit will raise a standard against them. It does not matter the odds against you. In that situation you are facing, in that family war you are facing, in that marital war you are facing, in that conception war you are facing, we believe and serve the God that works against all us. God will fight your battle. Ah. The love of Christ begins to declare wars. It does not matter the situation I am. Na 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 mo sakata. Leparado sakata. Likubala barada rekete tete shagada. The Lord will cause a destruction of your enemies and your foes. Rekete tete and bros rekete rekete that brought their shame. God will put them to shame. God will put them to shame. God will put them to shame. Oh, against all odds, God will put them to shame. Because God is going to bless you this month. God is going to bless you this year. This year of divine enthronement. The Lord is going to enthrone you against all odds. And you have reason to say that. Come and see you. Come and see. Come and see you. Oh. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Judges 7.25 says, The Lord will bring destruction upon your foes, no matter how many they are. Ah, God will bring destruction against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Why we cry, oh Lord, in that situation where it seems it is over, don't forget this. The Lord is with you. In Isaiah 41, verse, verse 10, don't, don't dismay. When the odds are against you, it seems nothing good is going to happen in your life. Don't be dismay. Don't despise. The Lord will come for your good. The Lord will come for your help. Against all odds, the Lord will fight your battle. Oh Lord, we cry unto you, Lord. Against all odds of the enemies, Lord, help us. Lord, help me. That should be your cry. Lord, help me. Lord, I am waiting for you for that contract. I am waiting for you for that job. I am waiting for you for that marriage. I am waiting for you for that business. I am waiting for you for that concept. I have a beloved sister that started putting to bed at the age of 47. What is beyond God? There is nothing. 
The songwriter says, there is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty words. Mountain mover, my lover. Oh, your man, name is my. That is the God of a mountain mover. The Bible says when he speaks, when he opens his mouth, when he rolls, let up a mountain move, mountain, let it melt, the voice of the Lord is like many thunders, the voice of the Lord is like many waters, when he rolls, enemies, mountains of your life must succumb. Reba babo shaka da baba, Elia katia kata. Reba do shaka da da, Leporo bo Second Chronicles chapter fourteen. Oh la baba, ba. this is liberation prayer altar. Believe God that your time spent here is not in vain. Whether you're watching us live, whether you're watching us in any of the, the social network, your time, the time you spent to watch this, watch this voice, hear this voice, this voice of reckoning, this voice of victory, this voice of liberation, this voice of deliverance is not spent for nothing. To God be the glory. Second Corinthians, Corinth Chronicles, chapter 11, left. Chapter 14, verse 11. Le rabada bada. Then Asa called to the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, there is no one like you to help me. To help the powerless against the mighty. Help us, O oh Lord. That is your prayer. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I'm in a situation that all odds are against me. I'm fighting a war of all odds against me to, to, to succeed. Lord, help me. That was the cry of Asa. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. And in verse 12 of Second Chronicles 14, what did the Lord do? Love. That is what God is going to do for you. The Lord struck down the Goshites before Asa and Judah. The Goshites fled, and Asa and his army pursued them. The love of Christ. The Lord will stroke your enemies with thunder. The Lord will rain hailstone upon your enemy. And you will pursue them. Against all odds, you are winning this battle. Against all odds, you are having victory. Against all odds, you are marrying. Against all odds, you will conceive. Against all odds, your ministry will be established. Against all odds, yeah, that work will be called. Uh, you'll be called for that job. Uh, that contract, uh, that travel, uh, like it, 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 uh, will come to manifestation against all odds. That is the God we serve. And I pray for you this moment. Whatever it is uh, that have troubled your soul, believe God that works against all odds. You think your time is over, believe God. No time is over when it has to do with God. And let the God that I serve, let the God that I serve work for your good, irrespective of what the enemy has said, irrespective of the plans of the enemies, irrespective of the, how dicey the situation is. Believe God uh, that you will testify. I'm not saying tomorrow. I'm not saying next year. I'm saying this year. You will marry. You will conceive. You have that contract. You have that job. You will build that house. You will make that travel. That ministry will grow. This is liberation. Prayer altar. My God, work for your good. The Lord will work for your good. Against all odds, let my God work for your good. If you believe it, shout amen. If you believe it, shout amen. This is liberation prayer altar. For prayers, for counseling. A voice, a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on by the special grace of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's up the number? Plus 234. 901-796-1134. I take the number again. Plus 234-901-796-1134. Believe God as you wise up the numbers you call. That the voice you hear will be the voice of the Holy Spirit. And matters will be settled for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved of Christ, this month has been declared as a month of a divine fulfillment and rest. Believe God that had desire against all us, the Lord 
who caused it to be fulfilled and will give you rest from all wars. The kind of rest he gave to Gideon, the kind of rest he gave to, to Solomon. Solomon fought no war. He fought to until at his reign he was at rest. God will give you that rest. Rest that you, there will be no war against you, but you'll be prospering. you just be prospering. The Lord will fight your war like he fought for us. Uh, and I mean, as many as rise up against you from this moment, uh, they will go down. They will go down. They will go down in Jesus most powerful name amen as you go out today as you continue with this bond of divine fulfillment and rest don't ever forget this we are the battle axe in the hand of god commission to liberate therefore none shall die young in our band none shall die young in our hands none shall die young in our lives and families none shall die young in our ministries none shall be bad nor impotent don't have miscarriage hey we shall not have an old man and an old bachelor amongst us and the believers will shout amen we are blessed we are saved we are healed we are overcomers we are joyful we are more than conquerors and we are psalm 91 equipped in the name of god the father and of the son and by the power of the holy ghost and believers shout amen 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 in the name of lord jesus christ the most high yeshua hamashiach believe god against all odds that he is working for your good god bless you god bless you for as many that have joined god bless you you will not see shame. my god will work for your good and for as many that will watch and tap into this prayer atmosphere God will work for your good. Don't forget every Friday is a liberation and supernatural encounters fellowship. God is waiting for someone. The Holy Spirit is already working. Depart 9 a.m. prompt every Friday. Expect, come believe in God. Come expect and come inviting someone and believe God that will work against all odds for your good. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Shalom.